this out, Carl, so Officer Tenpenny can sleep easy at night. used to hearing that voice, man. Dropped you a pin. Wanna come through? Hey, Uncle Aaron. What? Too busy to visit your fam? Nah. I was just giving you space after you got out. Don't need it. Besides, we gotta settle some things. We do? See you soon. Just go see him. <laughs> you want a guy next time? Sheesh! No way we can talk this out? Now, let's see what this crystal has. But I don't want you to worry. That's my job. Someone was keeping tabs on Marco. And who's Kimia? Hey, Uncle. I'm back. So like I was saying, I was trying to give you space. Don't need it. Besides, we gotta settle some things. We do? See you soon, kid. Just go see him and get it over with, Mouse. Then we focus on whoever took Lee and Scorpion. Something tells me they're planning something big. <laughs> I see some burglars. Here we go. You're the lookout for a reason. Why do you get the take point? It was Spider-Man's job! Didn't your mom ever teach you not to steal? Stop fighting us! Down! What? Y'all better think twice next time. Fireworks? Better warn those guys they're illegal here without a permit before someone calls the cops on them. Thank you. 
Let's do this. Hey friends, it's Danica. You are listening to the Danicast. Get this. Now the fastest growing podcast in New York. Hold on to your knickers, Jonah. I'm coming. And for the crown. For you new listeners, welcome. The Danicast is your spot for real takes on real news about real people. Did y'all hear about this train worker, Dennis, who single-handedly kept the trains running during the Sandman attack? Main track control booth got cut off by a power failure, and he had to patch in from his cell phone on a hotspot to keep the lines up. Thousands of people got evacuated to Queens and Brooklyn thanks to him. Dennis, we at the Denicast salute you. Keep doing what you're doing. That should work for Robbie. Is that? Oh, 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 man. I haven't been there in years. When we were at the Bugle's old office, we'd hide out here whenever Jonah was about to blow. <laughs> man, I finished a lot of assignments sitting at that bar and a lot of grasshoppers. <laughs> <laughs> Let's dig in. I'll get him to a hospital. I knew those fireworks looked shady. Is he gonna be okay? I think so. Looks like he's just unconscious, but I'm not taking any chances. Ah, uh, where am I? Spider-Man? Don't worry, I'm taking you to a hospital. Also, for obvious reasons, I gotta tell you personal fireworks are illegal in New York. Uh, we didn't know. They're for our brother, Lex. We, we lost him a few years ago, and... He always loved them, so we try to launch a few around his birthday. Oh, man. I'm sorry. Spider-Man? Wow. There. The staff here is great. They'll take good care of you. Thanks. Actually, wait. If those fireworks we bought were sketchy, Maybe you should check where we got them from. Some docks north of us between those two bridges. I think I know which place you mean. I'll take a look. Hey, just dropped Mike off. He thought I should check where y'all bought your fireworks from, too. The dock guys? That's a good call. But watch out. I know I saw two of them with guns. Like serious guns. I'll be careful. Thanks. Get 
Marco, watch it next to that barrel. We can't make any money if our stock blows up. You want to do this? Get back to checking the guns and let me work my magic. I really need that five grand by next week. Two cups of gunpowder seems right for these. I'm not making fireworks for babies. Five cups. <laughs> Sucks to be you. <laughs> Here's that nap time you ordered. Guy. We just lost one. Come on. Yo, help me out. This is all Let's a trick. Let's that spider and flush him down the toilet. <laughs> The fireworks! They're lit! Uh, the river! I can chuck them! Wait! They lit two more? Okay! Last crate! Or this place is toast! Nice. Wow, really nice. Happy birthday, Lex. Was that you? Oh, man. I hope Mike saw that from the hospital. Lex would have loved it. Hope y'all enjoy your time in New York. Stay safe. Great weather, right? The underground lately. Back at you. Another day, another disaster befalls our beautiful city. And guess who's to blame? In what should have in a routine prison transfer, the Spider-Men felt the need to inject themselves into a situation that was already being handled by... You might want to bring a jack... How does it look? Was that good? If it's great, post it. If it's not, let it die. Okay, you can send it to me. And also, am I prominent in the picture? I do represent a larger customer base. Haha, <laughs> the bodega beef. It was already a rivalry for the ages when it was just David versus Goliath. But when Tails had to deal with the bodega copying his success by using the exact same mascot, it stepped up to a whole nother level. The hell? You're trying to brand someone? Reconsider our offer. Sorry, nobody's getting branded today. They're out of their mind, Spider-Man. Curse and hour cannot be stopped. Out of those webs.
What was the deal with those guys? I felt like they came out of a cult. Better tell Pete about them. Marco's memory crystal. Let's get it. Sorry, guys. Didn't mean to wake you up. We don't have to fight about this. Crush this crystal. Maybe I'm being paranoid, but everywhere I go, I see them too. Work, the corner store, in the park. They're tracking us. Marco was really freaked out. Wonder if whoever was following him is still out there.
the longer you stay in there. That's enough. Look up. He's there. to put out. Help! Spider-Man! I can swing you over to an ambulance. They'll fix you right up. You're amazing. Thank you. We'll be there in a sec. Hope that wasn't too rough of a trip. Take care. I can't thank you enough. Also, my boyfriend's your biggest fan. needs to be sealed up. Probably shouldn't tell Ma about how close I got to an almost exploding gas truck.
all this trouble for a little Christmas. So I tell the cops that someone's out to get us, but they don't listen to me. No one ever does. Time to take matters into my own hands. No one has seen Marco in years. I would have been there for him if I knew he was in trouble. Hey, I was just talking to my source at the raft. Marco's been belligerent and incoherent since he got there. But they said he's starting to show signs of improvement. Whatever you're doing with those crystals, keep it up. Fucking shit!